In terms of impact, how do political rally crowds compare with survey numbers? That big question and more with Professor George Digno of the University of the Philippines Department of Political Science. Professor Digno, welcome to The Big Story. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie. Hey, Professor, everybody, now you just have to say drone shots. Everybody knows what that is. This is new technology. It's not entirely new scenes, but does it bring anything new to the table? Uh -huh. Okay, well, uh, to start off, both uh, Robredo, the, Robredo and Marcos Camps have uh, actually managed to draw bigger and bigger crowds over the past few weeks, pareho silang nagpapasikat, both uh, seem to showcase a, degree, a high degree of grassroots support, uh, despite the fact that one was held in a relatively upper class, you know, uh, business district of uh, Manila, Metro Manila, both seem to show large scale grassroots support uh, with participants coming from uh, all walks of life. You know, both also use celebrities to draw bigger and bigger crowds. However, there are certain differences between these uh, campaign events, you know, these two camps. Uh, these difference, differences pertain more to, uh, less to quantity and more to quality, you know. Uh, in the case of uh, Robredo, the Robredo campaign rallies, they seem to offer uh, dedicated and uh, highly voluntary participants, you know, with people who come not only with themselves, but also uh, those bringing in their families and friends with them, but also, also their ideas. You know? mm. They bring with them self-made placards, posters, uh, shirts, you know, and even resources like free food. And they basically offer a more positive and festive vibe you know, about the promise of collective action. The second thing I notice is that if you look more closely at the Robredo rallies again, they're actually more granular more grainy, more diverse uh, and inclusive as exemplified in the, you know, this and that for Lenny, you know, slogans. It's more inclusive and pluralistic. I don't see that level of diversity mm. in the uh, Marcos rallies at this point, you know, uh, and basically the, their unity slogan appears to be consistent with this. Mm. Uh, they, they, their participants appear to be more rehearsed uh, artificial and lacking in diversity. Mm. Certainly, of course, so, I mean, even, even acknowledging that, uh, however, on the other side of this, of course, there are the survey numbers that really show a big lead for uh, Bongbong Marcos. How important is that? Of course, I mean, this provides, the big rallies provides a rallying point. It provides a different narrative other than, uh, than, than numbers. Is there a bandwagon effect? at all in seeing crowds? Okay, that question is actually premised on the assumption that uh, you know, these crowds lead to votes and therefore preferences in the surveys. Uh, but as we see in the case of Robredo again, uh, we're seeing a, a bigger and bigger crowds uh, supporting her and her candidacy. But at the same time also, of course we've seen bigger, big crowds also in the case of Marcos, you know? But the, I think it's important for us to understand that these crowds, you know, don't automatically translate to preferences right away. Because if mm. you look at the, the sizes of these crowds, you know, they betray some kind of, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a sense of uh, plurality, diversity. You know? People who go there are probably decided and determined to vote for their candidate, or they may have been, you know, brought there by their family and friends, you know? Uh, or baka dahil may libreng t-shirt, may libreng pagkain, you know, uh, or they may be curious, or they may be attracted by the celebrities there. Uh, and so there are many reasons uh, that we're not seeing at this point uh, translated into uh, the surveys, you know. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, it's now commonplace to have drone shots. The other thing also that is now becoming com commonplace is the slogan, hindi kami bayaran, you know. Uh, mm. Both camps appear to, to show that they are getting voluntary active support from their uh, supporters, you know, from their participants, mm. uh, to show that there is this groundswell. You know? So I would rather wait for the surveys actually to come out you know, uh, and then see from there. Okay. But right now, I'm not 
uh, totally convinced that just because you have big rallies, eh, you're going to have big numbers in the surveys okay. right away. Maraming salamat po, Professor. That was political science professor George Tigno of the University of the Philippines.